The Jordan 1 reimagined. The Jordan 3 reimagined. We've been seeing these reimagines from Jordan brand popping up left and right. And even a Royal 1 reimagined is set to release at the end of this year. But seems like Nike wanted to get in on the fun. And with that being said, releasing on March 26th for a retail price point of $150, we have the Air Max 1 Big Bubble. <laughs> Max One Big Bubble is coming up. Air Max Day is in full effect, and we have here a model being brought back to life. The Big Bubble, or as the box actually says right here, Nike Air Max One 86 OG. And what we are having with this Big Bubble is pretty much a Air Max One brought back to its original size as far as looks and everything that made it famous today. And we have here to our left, the 2017 30th year anniversary Air Max One OG that dropped, of course, back in 2017 to commemorate the 30 years of Air Max. And we've seen these shoes being brought pretty much each and every other year really out there because I actually owned the one even before that for the 25th year anniversary and so on. So it's good to have these in the collection. But well, we have these here to compare somewhat to what we have here with the big bubble. And I gotta say, when it comes to reimagines or even just Jordans that are being brought back to their original shape and form, they're very small as far as the changes that were made. For this shoe in particular, there's a ton of differences that I didn't even notice on modern Air Maxes to the old school 1986 version. Let's go ahead and break those down before we even get more in depth on the actual shoe. One of the big differences, of course, is the back. The whole entire just paneling are all entirely different on the back. Check out the actual Nike Air and how they look. Stitching is completely different compared here. The 2017 pair being a little bit more fuller compared to the 2023 or OG pair. Even the heights on the shoe, the big bubble is extremely different in height when it comes to this out here. But I just can't once again deny the fact of the differences of these panels. This one being extremely low and the big bubble being extremely high. The backs as well. It has a more smooth back for the big bubble, whereas on the 2017 pair, it is all textured out. And that's pretty much what we've been seeing, you know, just in modern times when it comes to the Air Max one. And of course, the name is given is the big bubble. It features four pillars on the inside of the shoe, whereas on the Air Max 2017 version, it only features three, but there's also a difference in the height of this, as well as the width. It's just extremely different of, you know, big, <laughs> extremely difference of the size of the two, but also peep out the definition and cuts on the midsole on the shoe that aren't featured at all on the midsole. And also peep out the back of the heels, the actual ramps, the, you know, the angles of the two. This one being a little bit more up, it seems like it has a little bit more of a angle compared to the 2017 that's a little bit more smoother, more, a little bit more flat when it comes to the Air Max models. Another thing also to peep out, of course, which we've been seeing a lot on when it comes to even Jordan 1s, is the old school Air Max model here has a way thicker Nike swoosh compared to that of the 2017 version. And that's also featured, of course, on the inner sides of the shoe. Now, looking at it from the down part, like, like how I'm looking at it right now, there also are differences in the you know heights of the panels around the midsole and the upper. Just the panels and the cuts are extremely different and some slight different changes you know, throughout the years. As far as the colors, they pretty much line up hand in hand as far as grays and reds that are used on the shoe. On the box, it even reads white slash university red, and I might have already shown it already, but let me show it to you again. The box, eight and a half, 10, Air Max 186 OG. Another big difference is the toe box. Check out those toe boxes, the shapes of them. This one being a little bit more wider, and the 2017 pair being a little bit more narrow of the two and even the paneling on the actual tongue right here. Check this out, because I don't even know if I showed this in my B-roll, but let's look at the shapes and the sizes and differences of stitching as well as panels. And then on the actual tongues themselves, 
you can see that there's a this huge difference in the tongue material as well as the tongue tag Nike Air. See how fat it is? You can actually see through the stitching and the colors of the blocking of the red behind there. That is the, of course, the big bubble version. And then we have here a more defined 27 version with the Air Max there. And these are them pretty much side by side. As far as outsole goes, I didn't really see anything different as far as traction or anything of the looks. I mean, the outsole, as I stated before, is a little bit more curved on the old school version compared to the 2017 version. Now, looking at it, the angle is more crazy on this 2017 version. But when you look at it side by side and looking at it from this angle, it just seems like this one's a little bit higher up. But even let me see. I mean, they look pretty standard. I don't know. On the inside of the new big bubble, you have a size eight and a half or the size of the shoe on there featured. The Nike Air on the tongue, which you'll see in the B-roll, is also slightly different, but I'll try to put it up here as well. Nike Air, Nike Air, you can see that there's this differences all throughout that. And the laces on the big bubble, the newer version. I hate to say new version because the new version is really the old version, but the two, I'm just gonna call it the big bubble. The big bubble compared to the 30th year anniversary, the lacing are more thinner and skinnier on this big bubble compared to that of the 2017, which is a little bit more thicker in my opinion overall when comparing the two of these shoes in my opinion it just seems like they went from this which is the og classic which is a nice look but the 2017 is just a more redefined more chiseled out version of the original prototype from back in 1986. the shoe itself features of course a very i think this was more so of a felt material that's th used throughout this whole entire shoe not a suede or anything like that same thing goes for the you know other model from you know 2017 but you have the mesh you have the felt going on correct me if i'm wrong you also have a satin around the liner. Feels like it's like a satin material used around that liner. Also somewhat used throughout the tongue and the rest of the tongue down below, more of that mesh-like material. All about breathability, flexibility, and comfort when rocking this shoe at the end of the day because it's made, you know, made for running. Very, very basic and defined sneaker out there, but a classic that sells out each and every time it releases. The box itself gives you that look. You see that Nike swoosh right there, kind of symbolizing that air, the air inside of this box. You also have the same thing going on here with the big bubble and the pillars. Nike right there, going out there throughout the shoe. And this box has all these scratches going on, kind of, in my opinion, to symbolize is very similar to what we've seen on Reimagines, like an old school box or a prototype box from 1986 being brought back to life. Nike's getting in on the Reimagine at the end of the day. See the hype behind it? They said, why not? And um, for a shoe like this, I have no issue with it. For a price point of $150, I once again have no issue with it. So to each its own on that, I really like and enjoy what they're doing here. And I think these are gonna do very, very well. So as far as like sizing wise, eight and a half is what I rock with. That's my true to size. And I feel like it stands along with that and I don't find no issue with it. Go with your true to size. As far as how they feel, I didn't feel like a difference. Of, I mean, there is a bigger unit there. So they might feel slightly better for you running wise, but I didn't feel like they were anything groundbreaking compared to the 27 version out there. But it is more air being shown at least. And I think that is more air in this shoe in this general. So keep that in mind. I like the shape a little bit more. Salute to Mellow Way. He actually tweeted out that he did not like the new shape. I don't have really an issue with the shape in general. I mean, it's a little bit more fatter, a little bit less like, you know, less redefined. This is a little bit more sexier and cleaner look, but I don't have an issue with this for some reason. I, I mean, me personally, I just don't. I mean, I get it. These definitely might look a little bit better because they're more cl this is class, classy and like redefined shape really well. But um, I like, you know, the old coming back. I like when history repeats itself at the end of the day. So, you know, this is something that I definitely would like to add into my conversation. So stay tuned for that and uh, keep your eye on that. And I love y'all and I appreciate y'all and I'm gonna see y'all and end y'all with this on foot. I'm out, peace.